Didn't get a media after, but this is a great position for Crimson. Wow, yeah, great round from Crimson. Throws the boom. Mid range, he's been throwing a little bit more boom. Oh, oh, oh no, too many buttons. That's huge. Corner position missed, missed the media. Walks up. He what? got it. it worked. He could have flash kicked or supered or something. Yeah, anything. Lands on the boom. Walks up. Low medium kick. Bazooka knee. Oh, knee Didn't again. combo. V reversal oh, again. Nice. He down. Plus ah! Ah! He, didn't, he didn't punish what? it cleanly. Daigo. Oh, oh. The knee. Oh, He's alive. V reversal. V reversal. Ah, no. 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 He lives. He lives. He lives. <laughs> Oh, it's the fully charged one as well. It's the dashing elbow. Yeah, I wasn't 100% convinced about the Karen call on being top three, but after talking to some of the top players and their reasonings, yeah, I can see it. I can definitely see it. Oh, no, she, she's undoubtedly top three. The question is, is she the best? Or... Wow, chases that back. That's down. Stays alive. Activates the view of Russell. You've got to deal with this. Well teched. Yeah, good again. defense. And again, great block on that overhead. Oh, no. Nice he's trade. He was just trying to kill him through that mirror with those trades. It hasn't been enough. Oh, oh my, my God! He thought he was safe. He thought he was he done. Out. He had a lot of momentum at that point, but that one mistake. Can you see how much life he's lost as a oh, result? A, a rare jump in from Karen. But yeah, but it yeah. hits and caught Daigo off guard. Karen yeah, but hit. the problem is now either one of these players now next hit can go into a super. Oh, he didn't no. do it. Oh, but he's going to do it here. Chip out. Is she going to be able to be reversal? Yeah. Yes. And she doesn't get hit by the tail end of that Sonic. Oh, oh. and another overhead. Daiko. She takes Daigo, so like... cautiously because it can really snowball. No pun intended here, uh, as Colin's on the screen. <laughs> but it really can go downhill very fast. Haven't seen Mochi go for any uh, wake-up counters or anything like that. Probably no, too risky. No, he doesn't really use the counters a lot. Uh, he, uh, uh, sorry, Akuma has so many options as well, which will uh, negate that. True. A lot of time you see the counter used as uh, okay. It's an anti-air option also. And you have that that mix up there with uh, the air fire. Oh, and again, he gets him that command dash. You can't really see it so fast. Look at that damage that he just did. Oh no, he went for a frame trap. And then caught Takedo. Doesn't get anything off that. Crouching light punch. He caught himself up in life, but the thing is, Tokido still has way more resources. So to, even though Momoji has a life lead, I feel like Tokido is much more dangerous. And now you've got to worry about this demon yeah, on top of it. you can't let Tokido get any. We can't even get within dash range. Oh, nice. and the empty jump low into the fireball. Woo. CA closes it. <laughs> Gotta try to make you feel always, at home with the F word here. I am here, always so. shocked by how much damage he does. <laughs> here we go into the corner. Wow, again. It's, you know what? He knows that it puts him at that perfect range so that that standing medium kick whips. Because uh, so, I, I think that's like the second time he's used that same setup. Look at this. Dual Kevin getting the perfect. Wow, and it's set point to Dual Kevin. He is looking like a, with, a, with a very oh, strong big start. Jump in over the fireball. Man, what a prediction again. But you know what? It's never over against G. He straight one strider just needs to build up that V trigger just a little bit more. If you get, there it is. Got it now. And now things are. Oh, oh! And again, he interrupts the EX activation attempt. Oh, oh god, okay. okay. You could be dead. He's got no bar as well, so you have to take all of these mix-ups. Oh, oh no! 12 go. frames! What? He's gonna have to guess the stun and he's not gonna have a bar for a reversal. Oh, this is a terrible situation to be in. Oh, oh there it is! Oh my god! That's Set exactly play. what I said! You might be dead and that's Find a way to get that V-trigger activated, I think. Yeah, you always have red fireball activate. There we go. He's got the hit to activate, so he's going to get the damage and the side switch, too. Yeah, he, Ooh, the, the wake up. That's like season one, Nikali right there, that wake up light punch. It's still good. Uh-oh. Critical art scary here. He can do a tick into a demon. Yep, and now we've got it. Oh. Throws the fireball. I wonder if that demon would have caught the back dash if he had done that there. Oh, a trade. Oh, the size mode, like wow. five in a row. Oh. You have to win that ground position. And once you've done that, you have such a, a good spot to oh, sit. Oh, the size mode barely whipped. And that gave Tokino the opportunity to get a little bit of a whip punish. Yeah, a counter buffer just sticks out that crouching medium punch. That's huge. Ooh. One more hit could be the round. 
Yeah, he's got enough that if he got cobbles him. into a stop. No, he went. Oh, but that's enough to stun. Yep, the stop, and that's the kill. Majabo top base. So Nadesco just use act, basically acting as subterfuge there. Oh, the wake up ex. He went for it. Gets the sweep for the knockdown. Side switch. So now Fudo in the corner, but gets out of there with the target combo. Yeah, and trigger on deck. You have to be pretty scared. This could be a big punish. Upper. Oh boy. And here we go. One more mix up now. The drop. The, oh, it wasn't enough to kill. Oh, the view reversal. This is huge. Walk up. It counter hit. Counter hit, but it was too far for it to connect. And the oh, crouch like lived. it. They're both at zero. They're both at zero vital. Oh. Ooh. View reversal doesn't calm or doesn't connect after. You gotta be so scared. The oh, jump. he jumped. He jumped. He cracked like an egg. He I folded. Anti air. And he hits a down jab on the way in. Knows that Daigo didn't have enough for what he was trying to do. Counter hit. Dizzy. Oh my gosh. How much damage can he do off of this? Probably going to be... E oh no, he doesn't spend any meter. He saves it. He gets the throw. Not enough to kill. Daigo still alive here. We've seen the comeback Caught he was grounded. capable of. He did not do an EX flash kick afterwards. He's saving the meter for the EX Sonic Booms. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Too far for the throw. He's got to be careful here. Whip button from Daigo. Got him. Not in range, he didn't do EX boom either. Oh my god, du Duel Kevin with the fireball at the last second to block. Here Trying we go. Trying to pick him out, rolls in, Daigo with the break. Overhead! Daigo Umahara comes back and tot. Roll kick, perfect. And you know, it's just one of those situations where Daigo is just, he's gotten that read on Duel Kevin. He's like, I realize you're so patient, so I'm gonna have time to get this overhead. That is one thing that Duel Kevin has been very consistent. His EX uppercuts, Daigo has been trying to throw or hit buttons on every time. And yeah, Daigo's, you know, he has like a really solid kind of game plan here. And you can tell that Duel Kevin is being forced to adjust. After that first game didn't go his way, his dashes are surprising too. They just come out of nowhere. That was a bait. Didn't get punished. Pretty, Big jump. Pretty even on life here right now. Had to sweep. Yeah, he wasn't in range for crouching medium punch, so good choice from Daigo. That's good recognition of the situation, and he's got full resources. Man. This is scary. Hey, now, you don't want to roll in and eat something big, but EX off the table. Now Daigo with the lead. Okay, but Duel Kevin getting as much damage as he can. Yes. Oh, catches the back dash. Daigo with V-Trigger available. Sweep into V-Trigger is very good. So is the boom into V-Trigger. Wow, catches him jumping. V reversal. So He's no more V trigger activations. Daigo's oh pressing. Oh my god, not enough to kill. Overhead, overhead. Is it gonna oh, happen again? He can't. If he overheads again, goes low. <laughs> he walked up and went low. Daigo, he thought he went low again. Oh Duke my god, low oh, the, the EX, EX boom. Sonic Boom. Daigo Mahara in top eight Nothing winners. Interrupt. V reversal's uh, out though. But look at this. Okay, finally, Duel Kevin has lost a little bit of health. It took 25, it took a whole fourth of the round. Wow, back dash in the corner. That's Not the, a bunch of times I've seen Duel Kevin do that now. Yeah, it's a good option if you think people are going to throw or meet you with a light button. You flip out in the air and you'll take it. You're like, yep. yep, perfect. Flip out. I avoid that situation or I get away from the throw. Punish. This is yeah, huge. Yeah, look at this. All the way into the corner. For the throw, Momochi with the break. The, the counter, counter hit. hit! Not enough to kill, but Duel Kevin is right there in the roundhouse and chase the back dash! Duel Kevin has made it to top eight on loser's side. The uh, only uh, non. David used to talk about how he almost felt like Zangief kind of beat Akuma, but I think that might have been before we thought Akuma, we really discovered the potential of this character. Yeah, I mean, he came out right at the end of season one in like Capcom Cup time, so. I even remember when Tokido, before he won EVO, was talking about how good he was, and most people were like, yeah, is he really that good? And then yeah. he won, and everyone's like, okay, yeah, you're right. Turns out he's pretty strong. Oh. He's been super strong for seasons now. But yeah, this is one of those matchups where, as a Shoto player, you can't just get away with throwing fireballs all day. The flex is there. These trades are not great for Akuma. He just has so much health. I mean, it's hard to trade favorably against Zangief. Counteractivate. That oh was my. so sick, but he still got sucked in, and it's still the level two. So the EX is still going to finish him off. And uh, Look the at signature, he was scared of maybe the wake up EX uppercut, and it was enough v to let so him scary get away. From Zangief here, because he doesn't even need level two. He just needs the suction and a critical art to kill. He doesn't even need the full juggle or anything. Well, a down he, jab he will doesn't, kill. He doesn't have the uh, meter for the oh, super yeah, anymore. Oh, yeah, used it on the EXSPD. 
Man, I can't believe Tokido's walking up into this range. <laughs> he's losing space, though. He's running out of corner position. Okay. Oh, finally threw a fireball out of nowhere. <sighs> oh, the whip. Oh, but the second jab didn't hit. Oh, used too the, far away. He's got to get 10 seconds left on the there. clock. Not a lot of time. That's huge. Tokido can back yeah. him up. And now he's just trying to kill the time. Nothing he can do. Two seconds on the oh, clock. The still jump jumped back. at the last second. Tokido succeeds and advances forward. Ethazan has been defeated.